Hey, what's going on guys? Kamagigians here. In this video we're going to be writing a Hello World program to run on my online Q1 emulator in JavaScript. Uh, so I've, uh, before we start, just a few words on the updates since the last video. So I fixed uh, one minor bug uh, that uh, in regards to the display. So from now on you can uh, specify the segment where you want to write the seven segment code to and do that and then you will have the only seven segment code being laid up and the rest of would be like turned off. So that's one of the thin things to consider. So previously uh, the rest of things didn't uh, power off automatically. So uh, I needed to come, to come up with a sort of a hack for that. But yeah, now hopefully it works, uh, it works nicely. And another feature, now that the uh, behavior of the disassemble button is slightly a little bit different. And this was the request from Bob Lidham, the author of the legendary software for King One. Uh, and by the way, if you're interested, uh, I have an interview with Bob uh, here on this channel. So the idea is that from now on, the disassemble is sourcing the bytes from the Kim's memory, not from the assemblers, from the assembler's memory. So uh, uh, the idea is that we specify the starting address, the end address, and all the bytes there. It, it tries to interpret what is there. Since all the zeros, it just considers them to be the break statements. But once we end, uh, input something from the keyboard, there would be like uh, it would try to guess like the, the, the opcode is going to be parsed and then the value would be left just as is. Okay, so I hope that's clear. But uh, what is even more interesting? So I've added uh, two essential addresses uh, here uh, in the cheat sheet part uh, of the emulator. So these are the addresses 1740 hexadecimal and 1742. Uh, so this, uh, these addresses are located within the 6530 chips uh, on the Q1. Uh, I guess this, this one and this one, not sure 100%, but probably. And not sure in which exactly, uh, so yeah, I'm not that, <laughs> that great in hardware. Yeah, so it's just, but just from the software perspective, this address is dependent on the data direction. So we also have uh, uh, data direction registers, which is not listed here. And we're not going to manipulate them here well potentially this could be a good idea to consider but in my in my emulator it currently works without that so probably by default the data direction is uh set to the output well because otherwise actually it won't be working really so uh i have a a, a, a bit of a, of a vague understanding here and still we need to test this on the real cams just to make sure that it works properly but anyway the idea that the address 1740 is known as SAD register in, I'm not sure, in one of the 6530 chips. And uh, 1742 is known as SBD register. So just register A for data and, and register B for, the, for data as well. And what they do, so in case if we are outputting the data, then the 1740 uh, contains the seven segment code, which can be either the digit or a letter that was supposed to be displayed on our display. And 1742 is which display, which uh, which kind of uh, element, which segment to consider. So either this one or this one, maybe this one or this one. So uh, that value stored in 1742, and it has an offset. So we'll, we'll cover this in details. But when it comes to reading from those addresses, then 1740 has uh, contains the value of key that user has pressed, while the 1742 contains the row. Uh, so which row is used here, but uh, the layout for rows in keys uh, of Kim1 keypad is not as you see here on the picture. Actually, we have three rows and seven uh, seven buttons in each row. You might be wondering what about this ST and RS and RS button. So RS is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it should be a triggering the reset pin on the 6502 CPU, while the ST uh, is connected to the non-maskable interrupt pin on the 6502 uh, CPU as well. So yeah, hope it's clear. Okay, so um, let's start by demonstrating uh, how we can output a single letter, and then uh, I'll uh, I'll write the program to actually print hello on this tiny little display. So if you're interested, without further ado, let's actually start. So. For instance, uh, we can just say, just create a print label here. You know, uh, if we're coming back to this addresses. So first we need to specify, well, actually, when it's the matter of the only letter, it doesn't really matter whether we specify first which letter to print and then where to print it. Because if this is not changed, then we can write it 
like the order doesn't matter but if as it turned out well at least for this emulator currently maybe in the real game it's a little bit different but i don't think so so uh it's important actually first to specify the uh where which segment are we writing to and then what data but uh i will be sticking to the example that uh i i got from my friend dominic so uh let's let's stick for that so for instance we want to display uh the like let's say eight right we want to display eight uh here right on the very first uh, on the very first segment. So in this case, I can simply say LZA and loading the uh, immediate data of FF, which is a segment 7 code for 8. And if you're wondering how you can encode uh, the 7 segment LEDs from scratch, uh, feel free to have a look at the previous video in this series on the Skin 1 emulator. I was uh, making a sort of a tutorial explaining how this 7 segment code is actually working, right? So the next uh the next thing is we want to say sta and we're storing this value at this address 1740 which is the uh as the uh, sad register in 6530 and we can actually uh we can uh, we can even define it so we can define sad and this is going to be 1740 and in this case we can simply say sta to sad if you if you like these definitions if not you can just use the bare address not a big deal so then uh for instance uh yeah we can say lda and now we need to uh, pick up the value the proper value to display on this exact uh on this exact uh, segment and uh we need and there is an offset of nine so if we want to print to this one we need to say zero nine and it would be printed here and that's well, as far as I'm aware, this, this comes from the original kin. And now this value should be written to what is known as SBD register. And the SBD register, so define SBD, and this is going to be 1742. And then we just can jump, unconditional jump to the print and loop forever. So if I now assemble the code, and yeah, also, yeah, by the way, I've changed the storage address to 200 hexadecimal, which is most cases would be the standard uh, place where you would like your program to start. So, yeah, uh, and okay, and uh, now upload, and now I go to 0, 2, 0, 0, and the bytes are already right over in here, so just a quick. Uh, so if we have a look at the hex dump here, so you see like, so make it always on top. So A, A9, FF, and these are the exact bytes, A, A, D, these are the exact bytes we have here. So that's, that's kind of clear. So now, uh, hold my breath and run. And now you see like, uh, this A that we've specified lit up while the rest of uh, the digits power up, po powered off. So th that's the exact behavior that should have been here. So for instance, let's say I, s I say stop here and I want to bring the letter H and it has the seven segment code of 76, for instance. So if I assemble and upload and go to 0, 2, 0, 0 and run it again, now we have the, uh, the, the letter H. So, so far, so good. Now let's say we want to uh, print this H, but not here, but let's say here. So another a bit questionable thing, or at least for me, it's still it's still a, it's a it's a question. So uh, we need to add not one but two uh, to the location in order to get the uh, offset of the next segment. And again, I'm not yet 100% sure. Uh, is this specific to how things wired up in Kim One, or what's the case? Probably, but I'm not sure yet. But anyway, uh, yeah, th this is still needs to be tested. But this doesn't matter in terms of the concept of how actually this. Uh, IO is working to, to output this, to, to output something to the display. So if we say, so uh, 0, 09 plus 1 is, is going to be 0, A plus 2, 0, B, but 1 not here, but here. So plus 1, 0, C plus 1, 0, D. So now if I stop this, assemble and upload and go into 0, 2, 0, 0, and then uh, H should be printed here on this segment. So let's have a look if that's the case. And it, indeed it is the case. Well, so far so good, but we don't really want to do this by hands and just 
duplicating the code forever. So instead, um, we'll now write a simple program uh, that would be uh, printing the entire hello string like H E L L O, and this would be left blank. And yeah, without further ado, let's go for it. So I will start by defining the start label and here we need to do two essential things so we need uh, so we're going to be relying on the x and y register so x register is going to be storing the offset uh so well probably just to make it a bit more clear for you guys uh, i will probably start from defining the uh, bytes for this hello so i'm using dcb which is the byte definition specific to only this uh, only to this assembler uh adopted by nick morgan so it's just a bit of a legacy here so now the seven segment codes, I just, uh, I've typed them on a, uh, I've written them on a piece of paper. So 76 is H, then uh, 79 is E, then 38 is L, another L, 38. Uh, and actually let's probably do this down below. Uh, okay, so another declare byte and 38 and 38 H E L uh oh nope sorry actually yeah so like this and then O uh let's consider the big O so this is gonna be B F like zero and yeah we we could have put some zero terminating character but it's not essential so we anyway we're not gonna be We'll, we'll, we'll drop here already, so it's not ever going here. But just just to make sure that our program ends with zero zero, that might be just on the cards. Okay, so now uh, first uh, I need to say LDX and initialize this with a, uh, with a value of zero, and that's because uh, I, will, I will later say LDA hello, so address of this uh, of this byte plus the offset. Uh, that is stored in the x register so when the x is going to be equal to zero lda uh, with the x offset would be loading this this byte then this byte then this one then this one then this one and then it drops so uh ldx actually holds uh, uh, and, uh i'll provide the commentaries when this this version is going to get stored and i'll give a link to, to this version so you want to be able to play around with this on your own but for now just to save the time uh, i'll i'll say this by by words and that's going to be fairly enough hope hope so uh or i don't know probably uh just don't I just don't have enough space to be honest because yeah my, my this this camera thing is not really that kind of great but yeah okay uh, anyway, let's, let's just go further on. So the next thing we want to consider is to say LDY and here we need to specify the starting index sort of index where we're supposed to be writing the very first digit to so the, the kind of index of the very first segment and this is going to be 09 hexadecimal. So later on uh, here uh, we actually want to define our print and here uh, as I've been mentioning, so just to make it, just to make sure it's going to be working properly, we need first to select the segment and then what data to write there. So first, I will say sty, and uh, I want to store whatever value. So sty stores whatever value we have in the y register to the location sbd, which is seventeen forty two. It's sbd register in six five thirty chip, right? One of this this or that one. Okay, then uh the most essential thing so lza hello and with the x offset so as i've been explaining this earlier so uh hello is the address of this byte and plus uh whatever value we have in the x so first loop it would be zero then when x is going to be equal to one it goes here and here and so on so that's clear and now uh first we need to increment x so the next iteration will go to the next byte and also uh, because we need to, to say like in, increment by two and uh, increment the index of the segment to write to by two this needs to be verified but at least for now to make it work prof properly I need to say increment y twice and then uh, the escape condition so I can compare the value in the y register with the constant of 13 
and uh, this uh, the constant of 13 assumes to write to this segment in particular but we're, we don't really need to do that so this segment should be should be left blank so once the y register has the value of 13 we know that uh, we need to reset both uh, this the x offset should be equal to 0 again to print hello like again 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 and the same for we need to overwrite the index for uh, the segment we're supposed to be writing to so in this case we can say branch equals so a branch equals means if the zero flag is set to true and this cp is this compare y with a, with this uh, address of, of 13 would make that happen if we'll have 13 in the y register so in this case i want to jump to start and otherwise uh, i want to make an unconditional jump to print so we can iterate over this bytes here we can y iterate over the segments and eventually we kind of should see hello here on the screen so now hold my breath and uh, I try to assemble the code okay and now we're going to zero to zero zero and uh, yeah upload the code yeah the code has changed because now this is the first line to consider Oh my god, and let's have a look if it's gonna be working. <laughs> okay, it doesn't. Uh, okay, so the first thing I want to do is, uh, I'm not sure what exactly may be wrong here, but uh, I just up updated the page. Uh, so I just want to make sure that... Oh yeah, I already see what's the problem. Uh, the problem is that I actually forgot to write. <laughs> okay, I need to say STA and the SAD. Yeah, this is absolutely essential because I just didn't write the value that we have in the A register. So we just <laughs> we just didn't write anything there. Okay, so now this should be working. And again, upload and zero to zero zero, and here we go. We got hello here. So yeah, this hopefully how this should work actually. So yeah, yeah don't forget to <laughs> set the actual seven segment code here. So yeah, guys, uh, I will now provide the commentaries to this piece of code and upload this to my GitHub so we'll be able to play around with and probably trying to write you know, the, your own words here. This is really fun. So yeah, if you're interested in how to encode the seven segment melodies, make sure to see the previous video in this series. So yeah, this is it from my side, guys. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, and take care.